hey guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a web server in java and we're not going to be using spring boot or whatever we're just going to do something really simple if you're just getting into it so let's just get started by first opening intellij and creating a new project so we're going to call this web demo perhaps and we can we are not going to need much of this just use default java we don't need to get repository uh i'm using this version of java you can use whatever um i'm not sure which one you really need just use mine if you don't know add sample code we're gonna have that on so it generates us hello world here so where it says hello world we're gonna remove this because we don't need that right now first of all we're gonna need our imports so we're gonna go up here and add these imports now they're not being used right now but we're going to use them in just a second we first create an instance of the http server class and it's going to run this and we can just add that because it's going to throw an exception also you guys can see that we're going to be using the port 8000 but you can really it's you can put like basically any number in here and it'll probably work but we're just going to leave it there for now it doesn't matter that much the next step is that we're going to have to create a context with the slash here i mean it doesn't have to be slash it could be like slash hello world or something like that but we're just going to do slash and you'll see why and we have to do this on the server and we're going to need a class in here so we're going to create a new class here and now we're going to have to also implement these methods and it's only one method that's good and what's going to happen is that if someone goes to slash right here in your web browser it this is going to like run and we're going to have to respond with something or give like a response so we're going to return hello world so we made a string here called hello world and next we're going to use this exchange right here this http exchange and we're going to send our response headers of 200 which means okay in like web stuff and how long our response is so we response.length that's a string method now we're almost done guys the next step is to add our response stream or output stream and we're going to use that exchange again and you dot use dot get response body and we're gonna and this creates a new class instance object whatever you know this thing and this is what we're going to use so then we can use just these two more lines of code where we use um we write it basically or like kind of like send it to the user and then we close it because that you know when you open a stream you have to close it so make sure you have this but this is what actually writes it to the the user and if you guys run this you're gonna see it's probably not gonna work and that's because we actually even though we created the server up here we actually haven't started it so we're gonna start that in just a second but before that we have to add this which basically sets the executor to null which is the default executor and basically that means each like person that goes on your website they'll their response will be like in a different thread which is good so your server or your website or whatever it's going to be like faster than without this and last but not least we're going to add the thing the code that actually starts the server so server.start that's pretty simple and we're going to print out that it started so we know that it actually started now other than that we're basically done so we can press run now and if you look in our code or our response you're gonna see it says server started on port 8000 so we're gonna go to Google now and go to localhost um, 8000 not 3000 so it's localhost and we put a little call in here and then 8000 and if we do that you'll see we get a response hello world and that's because this is basically even though there's no slash here at the end you can imagine that there is a slash here it's the same thing but if we go here and we did slash hello world and then we rerun our code hopefully yeah it worked and we try this again we're gonna get a 404 not found because we do not have a context anymore for slash we only have a context for hello world you, where last time we had a slash here now it's hello world so now if we go slash hello world we get our response and of course you can make multiple of these contexts and whatever and you know um i think this is a pretty good way to get into web dev if you're a java programmer and also the last thing i want to show you guys is how we're going to actually give html code so if you don't know what html is basically every website consists of it it's like um all the text and stuff you see on a website 
So to do that, we're first going to create a new file. So we're going to create a new file. We're going to call it index.html. Index is like the default name for your HTML files. So this thing right here, exclamation point, and if you press tab, it generates all this code. Now you don't need to know what any of this really does. All you need to know is that you need to go to your body text right here. And this is where your your real like text and stuff comes in. So we're gonna use H1 and press tab. That makes big text. So we're gonna put hello world. And then we're gonna put um, tab tab H2. And um, we're gonna write like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that looks good. So now over here, instead of our response string, we're gonna be getting this um, byte response from our src slash index.html which is right here as you can see src folder index.html uh, we're gonna need to import these things oops yeah import that and down here we're gonna have to remove this because now we're working with an array not a string and down here since we're already working with bytes we can get rid of the get bytes and now if we go and run our server again or you might be running already, you might have to stop it. Now we can go to Google, and if we're on our slash, we're still gonna get our 404 not found. But if we go to hello world, we're gonna get some big text and then some small text. Okay, adios.